Hit him, stay there and be quiet. Oh, hi. Hickok 45 here. We came over into the deep woods today to make V-log number 10. We're, uh, you know, carrying some armament, of course, because you get over in the woods this deep, uh, could run into anything. Brown bears, wild hog, black bear, and of course you're aware of our zombie problems in this part of Tennessee. So we bring along a 44 Magnum, uh, at least something with that kind of uh, punch when we're over here in the deep woods. Just uh, reminds me. Make sure it's working. Sorry, Ginger. Uh, never can be too safe. So, one or two. Uh, Welcome all the new viewers and subscribers. Uh, uh, channel's going well. I uh, know there's a lot of people that haven't been with us very long. They're in the process of kind of going back through, looking at the videos. Uh, you know, I get 50, 75 messages every day, 100 some days. So I uh, kind of know where people are and what they're looking at. And I uh, uh, welcome that, of course, and uh, still keeping up with it uh, at this point. But uh, Glad to have you, and I would highly recommend you dig around in there. You may find something you didn't know was there. Uh, you can't always go by the name of the video to, to know really what it's about. You know, sometimes maybe your favorite firearm is being displayed and fired in something that at first glance looks like it wouldn't be anything uh, of interest. But anyway, glad to have you. Uh, it's going well. 99.9% uh, .9 of everything has been really, really positive. And, uh, of course, you always have the... The troll, you know, uh, we you can't seem to live without those. You know, any forum you you visit, you've got those. Uh, just I guess there are more people than we realize that are 40 years old, living in their mom's basement, playing video games. You know, and unfortunately, they have an internet connection and they wander into YouTube, right? Uh, and then too, you may have a few people who who just know a little bit about guns. And uh, you know, what uh, Al was it Alexander Pope said, a little learning is a dangerous thing, and it. it pops up it probably pops up in my videos occasionally but uh, you know, there's just some really interesting folks out there and sometimes you see their comments you know on the, on videos I do have a sarcastic side to me I guess or you know at times I try to hold back <laughs> I apologize if I appear to ever be uh, mean or to cut somebody off too quickly uh, but I don't know if I get in the mood you know I get some stupid comments I'll, I'll just block somebody willy-nilly I mean if you're not there for a positive reason and if you have some constructive uh, criticism or comment you know send me a message and, and let me know I've done that with other uh, gun videos actually I don't get a chance to look at a lot of gun videos but I know that uh, I have actually gone and sent a person a message and just to let them know that they they made uh, a, a, like a 100 percent error saying something and just to kind of warn them that they're going to get hammered <laughs> because uh, they might want to annotate their uh, their video because there are people who really don't do much themselves but they browse around, troll around, and just look for anything that they can pick apart on other people's videos. That's one of the things you notice whenever you get a weird comment. If you look at their channel, you know, like they have no uploads most of the time, and uh, their favorite video is some Britney Spears video, you know, so anyway. Uh, everything, for the most part, is going really, really well, and uh, I, I appreciate that. Uh, my students, my parents, I know some of you all watch this. I wanted to kind of give a shout out to, to you all and thank you. Some of my relatives uh, watch the, the videos and uh, enjoy them. I had a, a parent, a mother, uh, stop me in the hall the other day. It was in the building and uh, grabbed me by the arm and was telling me how she and her son just love watching uh, the videos. You know, and they just get a big kick out of them and enjoy them. So that's great. I love to hear that. And uh, and all the more reason I want to keep everything you know straight up and not everything too weird on my channel other than me uh, not that I would do that anyway but uh, what I want to do and the purpose of the channel is to just demonstrate uh, the proper use of firearms uh, safe use of firearms uh, it's kind of a reality channel I guess you'd say uh, the reason I'm talking about this we have so many new subscribers and uh, you probably haven't seen all the vlogs or really know all that much about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it uh, it's kind of a reality show we uh, are now doing on YouTube kind of what I've been doing for 20 30 years just grabbing a gun or two going out and shooting it and maybe shooting some object or shooting steel or shooting a cinder block or shooting a snowman just the kinds of things that we've uh, had fun doing over the decades and so now just thought maybe I would share it with some other folks on YouTube and I've 
gained a lot of experience over the years. I've, as you know, if you've seen many of the videos, I have a wide range of interests when it comes to firearms, kind of a jack of all trades, master of none. And uh, uh, so I know a little bit about a lot of different kinds of firearms and shooting. And so, you know, I'm just trying to give back some of that knowledge to new shooters. Uh, I have a lot of new shooters that uh, message me and ask me questions. And so, you know, if I can help, be glad to do it. And that's what I try to do uh, in my messaging. So, glad to have you all. If you're uh, relatively new or if you're one of the early uh, subscribers, uh, appreciate you because I hear from, uh, there's probably 10 or 15, 20 people I hear from regularly. It's kind of neat. They're like old buddies. Uh, so, one of the things I want to mention too, if you notice that uh, uh, with Talent Grips and with Ballastall, I'm not getting any money from Ballastall or Talent Grips. I just wanted you all to know that. Uh, you know the story maybe with Talent Grips. Uh, Derek, who owns that company, uh, sent me a, a set of those early on in my YouTube adventures. And after a week or two, I finally put them on a Glock I wasn't using just to try them out and really didn't expect to like them. I really turned out to like them and ordered uh, 10 pairs, you know, right away, 10 sets from him, uh, sent him the 100 bucks, man, I, I, and I was glad to do it because I loved them and still do. So that's kind of how that went. And, uh, but I wanted to, in the interest of full disclosure, let you know that uh, uh, he has been very nice to me because he gets a lot of promotions just from my videos over and over again. And uh, he has offered to send me any, you know, grips I need if I need to, couple more pair sets, uh, five sets, I think he'd send them to me. He even sent me a little ammo once. So, you know, uh, that's that's where that is. I don't get any, any cash from him. Or Ballastol. I've been using Ballastol, the lube and cleaner I use for 10 years. And just a week or so ago, uh, I was contacted by them. They wanted to know if they could link my cleaning videos to, or one or two of them to their website. I said, yeah, I guess so. I, wouldn't mind having a little ballast all out of it, you know. Hey, it's America, uh, free enterprise. So I do get some free ballast all now, which is great. Don't get any money. Just wanted to let you all know that uh, I am never going to be uh, endorsing anything that I don't really like. Because there's nothing that turns me off quicker than somebody who's endorsing something. I know it's just for the money, you know. It, it, it makes you want to gag. Uh, but, uh, you know, things I really like, and I've said that from the beginning, you know, whether it's Glock or it's Marlin or it's Colt or, uh, you know, whatever it might be, Dillon presses, you know, I brag on Glocks. I brag on things all the time that I like. That's, that's kind of what it's about, you know, bringing my experience to you. If it so happens that something I really like, uh, uh, I get, uh, you know, some support from them. That, that would be great. I've never heard from Glock, but I continue to support them. And uh, I'm not about to change my opinion of Glock if uh, Smith & Wesson or you know, Springfield or something starts sending me big checks to promote their guns or something like that's ever gonna happen, I'm not that big. But anyway, I just wanna let you know uh, where I stand with that. And I would let you know if Marlon said, hey man, uh, appreciate your support and uh, doing videos with Marlon, here's five free guns. I'll tell you, okay? So anyway, uh, I'm too old. I've been around too long to, to try to fool anybody. Uh, so I wanted to kind of let you know where I stand with that, because if you go to the Ballastall website or to Talent Grips, you know, you see uh, my handsome face there, right? Uh, another thing I wanted to uh, touch on today, but you know what, before I do that, I need to take another shot. Click. Feel better. Nothing like a good 44 Magnum. Uh, one of the biggest questions I get uh, is, you know, about choosing a first gun or just choosing a certain model of gun, as you, as you know, and probably a lot of you have asked me that question. Uh, one of the thing I, things I don't talk about much, and I think nobody does, is it, we all know it's hard to recommend a specific gun. One of the things that's never really talked about a lot, I think, if at all, is sometimes that decision really depends on your skill level. You know. Uh, if you have shot a great deal, then it kind of opens up a, a different range of firearms that might suit you and, uh, and that you might like and you might be able to handle. If you have not shot very much and you have very little experience uh, with a pistol, for example, especially, then uh, maybe that closes off some options for right now. 
I'm not going to recommend a 10 millimeter to somebody who hasn't shot a pistol. They've shot a 22, and that's all. Same with the 40 and the 9 millimeter issue there. You know, if you haven't even fired anything bigger than a 22, maybe one 9 millimeter, it, it's hard to recommend. So, uh, and I covered some of this in the Glock top models video, I guess. But uh, the the little baby Glocks, for example. In some ways, they're kind of a what you would call a professional's gun. You know, if you have reached a level where you can shoot pretty well with a Glock or any little gun, and the recoil is not an issue, for example, then I highly recommend a baby Glock, nine millimeter, uh, you know, Glock 26 or Glock 27 and 40. But it really does depend on your skill level, you know, so much. Uh, so anyway, I just want to kind of mention that there there's some guns that are great for. For me or people I shoot with that we shoot a great deal, that may not be guns you would like at all, you know. So it's so it's kind of hard to recommend until I get some information from you. So whenever you message me about the best choice for you, try to give me a little bit of information about your skill level, so I won't have to ask you and then you know get back and we exchange a lot of messages because I do get uh, swamped with with messages, and I try to answer all of them. Uh, one thing that's come up recently and people a lot of questions about bullets and bullet weights and things that uh, that I carry or that I use and uh, uh, just a, a, a something I've always done I wanted to mention because I I don't hear people talk about that much either uh, I have always practiced with the same weight bullet that I have used in competition or that I have carried you know if I have a gun by the bedside or, uh, or under a carry permit, you know, a gun you would carry uh, for defense, why would you not try to stick with the same weight bullet and power factor across the board? If it's 40 caliber, uh, if you like a 180 grain bullet, cross the board. Like, I don't have a 40 caliber bullet on my place that doesn't weigh 180 grains, unless it's some special stuff, you know, I have. I've got some 230 grain 10 millimeter bullets I'll show you sometime. Uh, I don't have a 9 millimeter bullet. I've got thousands of just bullets to load that are not, they're 147 grain. Any of the hollow point gold dots I have or any other kind of uh, you know modern uh, defensive ammunition, guess what the weight is? 147 grains. So I don't know, that just seems like common sense to me. You get the same point of impact that way. You get the same feel and recoil. And uh, it's when I was competing heavily, I always practiced with the exact same round, same weight bullet. Because with a handgun, you can get a different point of impact. You shoot a really light, fast bullet, and uh, it might impact the target, you know, inches or feet, you know, lower than a heavier bullet. So anyway, just a little tip there. Uh, that some of you that are just getting into shooting may not be aware of. Maybe even some of you that have shot a fair amount. I don't know. But anyway, thought I'd mention that. Uh, I enjoy the vlogs because I get a chance just to talk to you and not be focused just on guns. Uh, and, uh, and I think I kind of covered the, the things I wanted to, wanted to talk about there. Uh, you always have to be careful when you come out into these woods, though, because, you know, you just never know what you're going to encounter. I like to bring along a trusty pistol and sometimes a rifle, you know. Colt 45 sometimes comes in handy. It's always good to be ready to shoot with either hand. And you notice over there on the tree, we have a zombie who has showed up. So, you know, here while we've been sitting, he's just either been sneaking up on us or he's just been standing there. Either way, he's a goner, right? So, the woods can be dangerous. I highly recommend you're armed when you're in the woods if it's at all possible. So, this is Vlog 10, Hickok 45, signing off, and life is good.